Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from, and welcome here to Dabjis TV. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe, like this video, and comment and watch this video to the end because I bring you news from Satratran, Canada, and it's about the stabbing stabbings leaves 10 dead, 15 injured as Canadian police search for two suspects. So the two suspects in this video, we're, we're looking for them, they're looking for them in Satratran. Rajana Satratran, a series of stabbing in two communities in this Canada, Canadian province of Satratran left 10 people dead and 15 wounded. Authorities said Sunday, said Sunday, police are looking for two suspects. The stabbing took place in multiple locations in the James Smith Greek Nation and in the village of Weldon, northeast of Satratun, police said. Okay? Blackmore, the assistant commissioner of the RCMP Satratran, said some, some of the victims appeared to have been targeted by the suspects but others appears to have been attacked at random. She couldn't provide a motive. It is horrific what has occurred in our province today, Blackmon said. She said there are 13 crime scenes where either disease or injured people were found. She urged the suspect to turn themselves in. Police said, the last information they had from the public was that the suspects were sighted in Satratran capital of Rajana around lunchtime. They have been so sighting, sighting since. If in the Rajana area, take, take precaution and consider scheduling in place. Do not leave a secure location. Do not approach suspicious person. Do not pick up each ICAS, report suspicious person, emergency, or info to 911. Do not disclose police location, the RFCMP said in a message on Twitter. So I'm going to leave you now to watch, to, to listen to the full gist of what has happened in Satratran. And please subscribe, watch to the end, and... Don't forget to comment below. These two are suspects and uh, looking for them. We continue so, our extensive video coverage out. of one of the worst mass killings in recent years in this country. RCMP in Saskatchewan say at least 10 people have died and more than 15 have gone to hospital following stabbings in multiple locations on the James Smith Cree Nation and in the village of Weldon, northeast of Saskatoon. They say some of the victims were targeted, others were randomly attacked. They also admit there may be other victims, and right now they don't know where the suspects may be, possibly in other prairie provinces, Manitoba and Alberta. Both are men, and they are considered armed and dangerous. And here is what Saskatchewan RCMP Assistant Commissioner Rhonda Blackmore had to say last hour. Currently, we are actively looking for the two suspects, helping the victims and investigating the many crime scenes. We're dedicating a maximum number of resources to this investigation and thank our many provincial and interprovincial policing partners who are providing additional support. Let me be clear, we are still looking for the two suspects. We are asking residents across Saskatchewan and our neighboring provinces to be vigilant. At this stage in our investigation, we believe some of the victims have been targeted by the suspect and others have been attacked randomly. The two suspects are Damian Sanderson and Miles Sanderson. Damian Sanderson is described as a 31-year-old male, five foot seven, 155 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Miles Sanderson is a 30 year old male, six foot one, 240 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Their pictures are available on social media channels and websites. If Damien and Miles are listening or receive this information, 
I would ask that they turn themselves into police immediately. They are considered armed and dangerous. They are believed to be in a black Nissan Rogue SUV with Saskatchewan license plate 119MPI. At this point, we don't know if they have changed vehicles since this morning. Their location and direction of travel is unknown. This is why we need everyone in the province to stay vigilant and report any suspicious activity by calling 911 immediately. Every avenue is being explored. Some of those um, you know, involve uh, technological resources, some involve human resources. We're taking all steps possible to track these individuals and any information that comes in from the public or other sources that we obtain the information, we're following up on that information immediately. Well, the CBC Sam McKay joins us now from Regina with the latest. Sam, we've heard from the RCMP. Take us through the latest situation in the manhunt. Well, Natalie, what we've really learned is how this all began. Our CMP tell us that the first 911 call about a stabbing came in from the James Smith Cree Nation around 5.40 this morning. And then the calls kept on coming, call after call, about a stabbing, multiple locations. At first, the RCMP sent out a dangerous persons alert just to James Smith Cree Nation and kind of the surrounding area. And throughout the morning, those public service alerts grew and grew through Saskatchewan and eventually they expanded that to Alberta and Manitoba as well. What we know, 10 people are deceased, 15 more people are injured, and there are 13 different crime scenes involving those incidents. Now, police also say that there could be more people who are injured and they just haven't identified themselves to police just yet. They also say there's no indication that there's any harm done to anyone out of that initial area. Now, the two suspects were last seen in the Regina area around noon today, and the Regina Police Service joined the RCMP in that news conference and say that they are treating this as if the two suspects are still in town, which is significant given that there are more than 33,000 people currently at Mosaic Stadium watching the Saskatchewan Rough Riders take on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Other than that, at this point, they say they're taking every every help that they can get. Lots of police agencies have stepped up across the province as well, uh, help, lending a hand where they can, coming in to help if they can. And also the James Smith Cree Nation, we have learned, has declared a state of emergency because of what has happened today. And they have two emergency operations uh, centers set up there to help people deal with what has happened today. And as they do that, Sam, we know the RCMP continue to look for those suspects. We do know, though, they have not released much detail about those individuals. What more can you tell us? No, not at all, really. You'll notice that the two suspects actually share the same last name, but we've been talking about them as two individuals as if they're not part of the same family. RCMP would not tell us if they were related. They could not tell us why they were at James Smith Cree Nation, and they also didn't give us any background on where these gentlemen are from or uh, if they were known to police. They say that's all part of the investigation at this point. What I can tell you is that Miles Sanderson has been unlawfully at large for a number of months. There was a uh, Saskatoon Crime Stoppers watch issued in his name back in May. But other than that, we have a lot more questions than answers at this point, and a lot of families are very concerned about the state of their loved ones. Sam McCaig in Regina. Thank you so much, Sam. You're welcome. Sam is the host of CBC Saskatchewan at 6. Well, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has addressed the attacks, writing on Twitter, the attacks in Saskatchewan today are horrific and heartbreaking. I'm thinking of those who have lost a loved one and of those who were injured. Trudeau further adds that the government is closely monitoring the situation. Well, Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe also took to Twitter following the deadly attacks. He said this, take a look, I want to offer my deepest condolences on behalf of the government and people of Saskatchewan to all of the family and friends of the victims of today's horrific attacks. There are no words to adequately describe the pain and loss caused by this senseless finalist. All of Saskatchewan grieves with the victims and their families. Well, our colleagues at Radio Canada are in Weldon, Saskatchewan, just 30 kilometers from James Smith Cree Nation. They spoke there with witnesses, including one woman who may have unwittingly met one of the suspects. Well, I woke up this morning to the alert at 7 o'clock. 
I heard the alarms, it woke me up. So I got up and I had my coffee ready and I came out, came out to sit here in the deck like I do every morning and enjoy my coffee. And this car went flying by and if you know Weldon, there's nobody here. I mean, we're just basically by ourselves, especially right out front. So it went flying by and I went, why is that car going so fast? Like, give me a break, slow down. And then a couple minutes later, a gentleman walked around the side of the house and came to the front with a something over his face. We couldn't see his face. And he came walking up to me and said, I've cut my face, can you help me? And I said, well, can I see? Can I see what your face looks like? And he says, oh no, it's way too bad, way too bad for that. So he kept it covered. And then I said, well, I'll have to go call somebody. So I ran in the house, meanwhile my mom came out and I guess she said, you know, sit down or whatever, and he took off. So I came back out and he was running away and my mom was running away after him. So I'm like, Mom! Where he was going. By that time I figured out this is not a good guy because he's running away when we offered to help him. So I went in and called the police and within about 10 minutes the police were here and got our information and that was it. That was Leona Lease in Weldon, Saskatchewan, who had run in with the man, a man, I should say, who had a bad cut on his face. He was bleeding. Before she could get him help, he fled.